Welcome, I'm so happy you're here. I know that time is a limited resource, so we're going to dive straight in. Many of you as sleep consultants are working in your business, creating social media posts, writing blogs, sleep plans. But what we're going to do today is working on your business, laying the foundation. And I'll be sharing with you the three key elements, the three key ingredients to create more impact, income and freedom. And just so you know, you're in the right place. I'm a sleep consultant myself. I'm also a postpartum doula and a brand and design expert. I've helped hundreds of sleep consultants over the past years, just like you, to start, launch and grow their business. I've seen what works and what doesn't. So let's start from the beginning. Think about this for a moment. What do you think is the biggest problem for most sleep consultants? Or maybe ask yourself, what is your biggest problem right now? Now, your answer is probably getting clients. Yes, that's why there are so many courses and coaches out there helping you to get clients. But I've been working with so many sleep consultants and I keep hearing the same struggles over and over again. I'm exhausted of creating new content. I just cannot post three times a day while having two little children. Do these things sound familiar to you? You know, these courses and coaches often only add to the overwhelm and frustration. Why? Because they work on the symptoms, not the cause. So it's like if you have a wound, they keep replacing the plaster instead of taking care of the wound. They focus on marketing while branding is actually the problem. If you're in a position that you constantly wonder what to post, something is up with your brand, not your marketing. It's a bit like uh, pushing a square block, you know, that is hard work. But what branding does is shape that block into a ball. And then you don't have to push as hard to reach your goal, right? You know, everyone focuses on marketing, but real money is in retention and referrals. And that doesn't come from marketing, that comes from branding. If your business cannot survive without ads, webinars, funnels, bonuses, you don't really have a brand. It's just a marketing machine without a soul. So with branding, what you can do is continue to raise your price and people will still buy from you instead of your cheaper competitor. Why? Because branding is powerful. Now, let's play a little game. Go look in your house and find something that is blue and something that is green. Just pause the video right now and do it. Play with me and let's make this interactive. Go get blue and green thing, please. <laughs> okay, cool. Now I'm going to share some words with you. If you think the word is branding, then hold the blue item up. Branding blue, makes sense, right? If you think it is marketing, hold the green item up. So let's start easy. Promotions, what do you think? Is that branding or is that marketing? Okay, promotions is marketing. Your offer, is that marketing or branding? Your offer is marketing. The emotional connection that people have with your business, is that branding or marketing? Now that is branding. The price that you set for your offer, is that branding or marketing? Marketing. The consistency you do with your business, branding or marketing? Branding. The promise you make to your clients, branding or marketing? The promise is branding. And the purpose you have, that your business even exists? Is that branding or marketing? Branding. The packaging, like your two week or three week support package with a sleep uh, questionnaire and an assessment call and a consultation call, this packaging, is that br branding or marketing? That's marketing. The people, the clients, is that branding or marketing? Marketing. And the expectations that people have of your business. Is that branding or marketing? Now that's branding. And the reputation. This is the last one. 
re your reputation? Is that branding or marketing? Your reputation is branding. People are often confused about the difference between branding and marketing. And that's pretty normal. They don't really know what each is and which one to focus on to grow their business. Now, the answer is actually, you need both. Branding and marketing each have their own definition and place in building a business. And one cannot really work well without the other one. But before you can use them in conjunction to grow your business, you need to first understand what each is and what role each plays in your business. So let's take a look. I have here uh, branding versus marketing. So the branding is your why. Marketing is your how. Branding is the long term. Marketing is short term. Branding is macro and my marketing is micro. Branding is a strategy, while marketing is a tactic. Branding builds loyalty. Marketing generates response. Branding creates value. Marketing extracts value. And branding is the being and marketing is the doing. This last one is the most clear for me. Now, there are two things I want to highlight here. It's not one or the other. You need them both. But most marketing issues are actually branding issues. And the other thing is that you need to understand is you are the owner of your marketing. But consumers, your clients, your potential clients, they are the owner of your brand. You cannot control how people talk about your brand, but, and this is the fun part, you can definitely influence it. And that is what's called branding. Branding is quite possibly the single most powerful thing you can do for your business. If I could explain it with a metaphor, I would say, think of a tree. I really love nature and I believe there is so much we can learn from it, but think of a tree. So the, the branding is the tree and a tree has three different parts, right? Each has a special job to do to keep the tree healthy and growing. So there are the roots. So they hold the tree in the ground. They absorb the water, the minerals and the tree, what the tree needs to make the food. There is the trunk to give the tree its shape. And then there is the crown, and this is the beauty of the tree, right? This is why we plant the tree in the first place, for the leaves, for the fruits. Now, marketing is what you do once the fruits are ready. You spread awareness, hey, the fruits are there, you invite people to come and taste your fruit. And why I'm sharing this is now, this is great to know all of these things, but what does that look like in practice? If you know me a bit, I am all about practical things. So in the rest of the time we have together, we are going to build your tree. This will become your brand blueprint and it will help make your decisions and guide your choices. So what we're gonna do with this brand blueprint that you're gonna use, this will help run your business so much smoother. And it's not a vague promise because I've seen it happen over and over again with the sleep consultants I've been working with. So just as like this tree is created from the bottom, so is your brand. This is what we're going to do. Are you ready? So grab a piece of paper and a pen, or maybe you have some color pencils, and then we're going to get started. Ready? Otherwise put the video on pause. Okay. So the first part is going to be the hardest. Well, at least for me is to draw the tree. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We're going to do this together. So let's start from the bottom draw the roots of your tree only the roots and keep some white space around it because we're going to write some words around it now trees that are not firmly rooted in the rich fertile soil they do not grow right they do not give fruit they cannot withstand strong wind or bear other heavy loads so the roots symbolize the foundation of the tree and symbolize the foundation of your business. These are the things that keep you going, even when everything seems to go wrong. The things that make you jump out of bed for in the morning. This is the foundation. 
It's your why. Now, I'm going to ask you some questions and I want you to write down the first word that comes to your mind on the left side of the roots. Ready? We're going to go. The first question is, why did you become a sleep consultant? Write that down on the left side of the roots. One word, two words, whatever comes up. Don't overthink it. Just write down whatever comes up first. Okay, the next question. Why did you want to become a sleep consultant? I know it's the same question. I want you to give a different answer and write it down next to the root. Why did you want to become a sleep consultant? Third question. Why did you want to become a sleep consultant? Write it down next to the root. Don't overthink, just write down what comes up. Question four. Why did you want to become a sleep consultant? I'm serious. Think of a different reason why you wanted to become a sleep consultant and write that down. Now the fifth question, you can guess it. Why did you want to become a sleep consultant? Write it down. Bear with me. So most likely you started answering the first question with something about helping other families. But I hope with the fourth or the fifth time that I asked you that, you started writing down what it will give you. If you didn't write anything down, what is in it for you, then do that right now. What is it? Do you want to have more family time? Do you want to have more freedom? Do you want to go on more travels? You know, I had this silly thing after I've been living on my savings for years that one day I wanted to go to a restaurant and not look at the prices on the menu, but just buy whatever I wanted. That was my why in one of my first businesses. What's in it for you? What do you get out of it, of being a sleep consultant? Now I'm going to move on. If I go too fast, just pause this video and take a moment to sit with it. I think we can all agree that the beauty of a tree lies in the crown, right? But its strength lies in its roots. So around your why, I want you to write down your strengths and write them on the right side of the roots. So what are you naturally good at? What do you like doing? These can be practical skills. They can be people skills. So. Maybe some words come up, you can write them down already. You know, it's easy to compare ourselves with others and point out all of our weaknesses. And this is not strange. Knowing from teaching for 15 years that in education, we focus so much on the weaknesses and we try to improve those. While if we would focus on the strengths, we can so much easier become an expert. We don't need to know or do it all, right? That's not the point of life, in my opinion. We want to have a life that feels easy and a business that should be fun, not like hard work, right? So I want you to really think about what are your strengths. Write them down on the right side of your roots. Now, and this is why most people stop and I want to take it one step uh, one level deeper, I want you to find your real strength. That thing that will help you stand out from all the other sleep consultants. That thing that makes you special. That thing that will make it harder to compete with you. And this is called your unfair advantage. It's something that you have that is unique to you. And often it's not earned or worked for. So for example, if you went through a divorce, and suddenly had to raise your child as a single mom. This is your unfair advantage. Or you became a parent to a child that has hearing problems. Or maybe you married a partner that uh, had to work overseas and you ha had to learn a new language and a new culture. Or maybe you had a dad who insisted you to follow psychology classes while actually you wanted to go to art school. These things are your unfair advantage. 
So it's something that you have that is unique to you. Now, a real unfair advantage is something that somebody else cannot easily copy or they cannot easily buy it, especially your competitors. It's really something that helps you stand out and be different. So what is this for you? Write this down on the right side of the roots between all your other skills. Maybe that's a passion you have. Or it's a certain connection, a relationship you have. Do you know somebody that a lot of other people don't know? Maybe it is a life experience, like I explained, you get through a divorce or you have a child with, with challenges. Or maybe it's an expertise that you have that many other sleep consultants don't have. Or it can be your approach. So what makes you unique? What is your unfair advantage? Because I really believe that we all have something that can catapult to success. Now, the thing is just knowing your unfair advantage is not enough. It will not help you. You need to leverage it. How can you position yourself with this unfair advantage? So, for example, if you're a sleep consultant and you have a passion for traveling, oh, that's me, you can use this and leverage this and promote your services really focused on families who are also traveling or uh, really focusing on the niche of traveling and sleep schedule, sleep related challenges because of traveling and moving and time zones. Or maybe you are a registered nurse with a psychology background because your dad pushed you to do that. And now you can use this in your advantage. Maybe you can set up weekly calls and you share information that is not sleep related, but is related to children. And then when they have a problem with sleep, you can sell their, your sleep support package or um, maybe th there's so many things. So leverage it. Think about what your unfair advantage is and how can you leverage this? Now, this is what we're doing. This is branding. If I explain to you what that would look like for branding, that is really about finding your niche, uh, your ideal client based on what we created here with the branding and, and adding a sentence to your bio that describes this or adapting your packaging, your offer based on this, what we create here with the branding or how you write your captions, how you address your ideal client. So that is the marketing part, but the branding, as you can see again, now it's the foundation. If you don't have clarity on this, the marketing is very, very challenging. So if you didn't come up with your unfair advantage yet, pause this video and otherwise we're going to move on. And I really want you to write down some practical things that you can do right after watching this, this webinar, this workshop. So you can put what you got here from the branding immediately into practice in your marketing. Because the thing is, you know, these two things combined, your why and your unfair advantage, they are your foundation. This is what you need to be sharing everywhere. Why you do what you do and how you uniquely do it. Okay, let's move on to the trunk. The trunk of a tree is the central identity. It's the strength of your brand. It's the core structure. The first thing you see of a tree this is also the first thing you see and hear and feel the vibe you get of your business, your brand. And the question here is, what do you want to be known for? You know, these are your guiding principles. This is what your clients will say about you without you ever having shared these words. This is how you show up every single day without ever saying it. This is the experience you are creating. So the question is, what do you stand for? It's like, do you say every day to your partner when you wake up, I promise I'm not going to cheat on you today. <laughs> of course not. That's something you show by the actions you take, by the decisions you make, right? It's the same here. These are the guiding principles that whenever you are at a crossroad, you look at these three words and you know which direction you need to take. So to give you my own example, my own three words, it's speed. I want to be faster than anybody else out there. I know time is money and I don't want you to wait four months for a website or a logo. So speed is very important to me. 
excellence, I want to blow people away. I want everything to look nice and neat. I want you to look at the materials that I'm creating and you feel freaking proud of it because I know how important this business is to you. So speed, excellence. And the last one is simplicity because I want to make business simple again. We've been so overcomplicating everything in the past years that most sleep consultants who got certified, they feel so lost and overwhelmed that within months they quit because they don't know what to prioritize. So for marketing, whatever I do, these words are on top of my mind. Every design I make, I ask myself, can I make it faster? Not for myself, for my clients. Can I make it easier? Can I make it simpler? Can I make it nicer? So the cool thing is here, remember that a brand is what people tell you that it is. So what happens is that people will reflect your brand back at you. Take a look at these testimonials and look at the words that I've circled in those testimonials. I've never said that speed, excellence, simplicity are my words. I never said it. This is how I behave. This is how I show up. But people are reflected back to me. So this is your proof that your branding is aligned with what you want to show up in the world and the people give it back. So what I want to do now is you find your three words. Maybe you know them already, then you can write them down. If you don't know them, because I know this part can be hard, what we're going to do is to ask a helpline. So I want you to grab your phone right now. Yes, do with me. And I want you to send three messages to the three most important people in your life and ask them to describe you in three words. No more, no less, in just three words and see what comes up. So pause this video and get, go send out that message right now. And you'll be surprised what comes up. I'll tell you then. And then once you've sent out those messages, it's up to you to decide the words that they give you back. If it's a strength, because that's possible, or um, because if it's a strength, you put it in your roots, or if it's a principle you live by and you want to work by. Now, if you receive a really cool message, please send it to me. I love to to hear what's going on. And I love to hear about your strengths and your words. So send those messages and then we're gonna move on to the next part. And that is this one, because we now have our unfair advantage. You know what you wanna be known for. Now we're going to combine all of this and create your personality that will help you stand out, your brand personality. And that is the crown. This is the visible, the outward expression. It is this thing that helps us distinguish an apple tree from a pear tree. And for your business, this will distinguish you from another sleep consultant instead of you. So this is all the visual aspects. It's the logo, the colors, the fonts. Now, and this is also the part, and that's very interesting. A lot of sleep consultants think that this is what a brand is, a logo, the colors, and the fonts. So what do they do? They start from the top. Well, a crown is nothing, it doesn't exist, without the trunk and its roots, right? So if we would look at it from a dating point of view, marketing would be the talking that you're doing with this person that you're interested in. But branding is this, it's the look, the gut feeling, like the experience you have and the commitment. So if you, if you think about it, like when we see a person, we judge from the top. So we first see the look, Oh, they might be interesting. Then we're going to hear to what they say and the feeling they give us. And then we're going to decide, is this somebody I want to commit to? So we judge from the top, but you have to build from the bottom. This is the same with your branding. The crown, the top, the look is amplifying everything that's been built in the trunk and in the roots, right? So what I want you to do in the crown Write some words that describe your brand. Or is it friendly, sincere? Is it down to earth? Is it reliable, feminine, daring, cheerful? Whatever word you come up, write down some words in the crown.
And then I want to make it a bit more fun because I'm going to ask you, if your brand was an animal, what kind of animal would it be? And write that down in the Chrome. If your brand was a country, what country would it be? If your brand was a food, would it be a pizza? Would it be a piece of cheese? If it was a piece of clothing, what type of clothing would it be? This is really to help you get out of your head and let your brain, let your head brainstorm. If your brand was a song, what kind of song would it be? I paused the video if it went too fast. But if you're ready, I want you to put a circle around the three words that are the most important to you. And then you've got three words in your crown. Now, I want you to do a little test. I want you to reach out to somebody that can be another a fellow sleep consultant, can be somebody in the community here. Uh, it can be a friend or a family member. And I want you to share if you have your social media account or your website or both and ask them what words come up. Nothing else. Don't tell them why you ask that. Just ask them what words come up when you look at this website or this Instagram or this Facebook account. And then I want you to think back at the words you wrote. Because what you want to do is to create a cohesive experience, not only on your website or only your Instagram account, because I see this going a lot of times wrong. They have a beautiful designed Instagram account with like light bluish, dark bluish, and then you click on the website and it's red, yellow, and, and green. Or like, it doesn't make sense. You want to create this cohesive experience. So do people see that? What words come up to them that they describe your brand with? And if it's not the words that you're looking for, how can you adapt your logo, your colors, your brand, your elements, your, how can you adapt it that it does show up and try again, make some changes, send it to another person. And see if you can get those words, or at least as close as possible to. So marketing is the doing and branding is the being. Do you see now how branding can make your marketing unique and trustworthy and authentic and completely you? That comes from branding. So to summarize, what are the three key ingredients to more success and more freedom is this. You have the clarity. You have the consistency. You know what you want to be known for. So every post that you're putting out on Instagram, every blog that you write on your website, you're going to look at your three words. Is this what you want to be known for? If it's excellence and there are spelling mistakes in your text, that's not excellence. If it's friendliness and your tone is a ChatGPT script that has no authenticity in it, that's not what you want to be known for, right? So put everything you're putting out in the world through this test. What do you want to be known for? And be consistent with this. And the last one is authenticity. If you focus on these three things and you do everything, put everything you do, your marketing out according your brand blueprint that we've built here, your three, so according branding, your business will flourish. I've seen it over and over again. Yes, it does take time because branding is really an ongoing journey and it requires consistent attention, evaluation and adaptation to ensure that your brand still is meaningful and memorable and impactful to your clients over time. Because things change, right? But now having this brand blueprint, this will really guide you with your future choices. And it will help you to not get distracted by things that are not moving the needle forward. Every time you come back to your brand blueprint, with every next piece of content, you're looking at your tree. Does this showcase my skills? Does it showcase my unfair advantage? 
Am I sharing why this is important to me to share? Is this according my guiding principle principles? Is this according my visual guidelines? And this is how you stand out. This is how you attract more people. And this is how you build trust. And a very simple test to see if you created a strong brand is raise your prices and see if people still buy from you. Now, if you want to dive deeper into the marketing aspects of running your business, I have recorded a five hour course, no blah, blah. It's like this. It's very hands on. And I talk about how to create a signature framework for your offer, how to attract more clients. I talk about the technology and the tools you need to have in place. And right now it's only $27. You can find it here on sleepconsultantbusinessstarter.com slash booster. If you're not looking for more knowledge, but you're looking for marketing materials, such as a sleep plan, lead magnets, newborn guides, toddler guides, social media templates, website templates, uh, build your funnel in one day templates. You can take a look at my shop. There are a lot of things there and you can find that in sleepconsultantdesign.com slash shop. And if we're not friends yet, and you want to learn more about branding, marketing, and everything exclusively for sleep consultants, give me a follow on Instagram and I'll send you some love back. So thank you so much. If you have any question that came up after this uh, workshop, this webinar, send me a DM and I'm really happy to help you out. Have a great day.